Thank you for joining Wars of the Roses, and this is chapter one in the mystical interpretation of Christmas. The Cosmic Significance of Christmas Once more in the course of a year, we are upon the eve of Christmas. Dissimilar is the view which each of us takes of this festival from that of everyone else. To the devout religionist, it is a season hollowed, sacred, and fraught with mystery, nonetheless sublime because uncomprehended. To the atheist, it is silly superstition. To the purely intellectual, it is a puzzle, for it is beyond reason. In the churches, the story is recited of how upon this, the holiest night of the year, our Lord and Savior, immaculately conceived, was born of a virgin. No further explanation is made. The matter is left to acceptance or rejection by the hearer according to his temperament. If mind and reason dominate him to the exclusion of faith, if he can believe nothing which cannot be demonstrated to the senses at any moment, he is forced to reject the tale as absurd and out of consonance with various immutable laws of nature. Various interpretations have been given to satisfy the mind, these principally of an astronomical nature. They have set forth how, on the night between the 24th and 25th of December, the sun commences its journey from the south to the north. He is the light of the world. Cold and famine would inevitably exterminate the human race if the sun remained always in the south. Therefore, it is a cause for great rejoicing when he commences his northward journey. He is then held as savior, for he comes to save the world, to give it the bread of life, as he ripens grain and grape. Thus he gives his life upon the cross or crossing of the equator at the spring equinox, and then commences his ascent into the northern heaven. On the night when he commences his northward journey, the zodiacal sign Virgo, the celestial virgin, the queen of heaven, stands upon the eastern horizon at midnight and is therefore astronomically speaking, his rising sign. Thus he is born of a virgin, without other intermediary, hence immaculately conceived. This explanation may satisfy the mind regarding the origin of the supposed superstition, but the arcing void which is in the heart of every skeptic, whether he is aware of the fact or not, must remain until the spiritual illumination is attained which shall furnish an explanation acceptable to both heart and mind. To shed such light upon this sublime mystery shall be our endeavor in the following pages. The Immaculate Conception will form the topic of a future lesson. Just now we will show how the material and spiritual forces alternatively ebb and flow in the course of the year and why Christmas is truly a holy day. Let us say that we subscribe to the astronomical interpretation as being as valid from its point of view as the following is true when viewing the mystery birth from another angle. The sun is born from year to year in the darkest night. The world saving Christ are also born when the spiritual darkness of mankind is the greatest. There is a third aspect of supreme importance, namely that it is no mere auto foolishness when Paul speaks of Christ being formed in you. It is a sublime fact that we are all Christ in the making. And the sooner we realize that we must cultivate the Christ within before we can perceive the Christ without, the more we shall hasten the day of our spiritual illumination. In this connection, we again quote our favorite aphorism from Angelus Salesius whose sublime spiritual perception caused him to say, Though Christ a thousand times in Bethlehem be born, and not within thyself, thy soul will be forlorn. The cross on Golgotha thou lookest to in vain, unless within thyself it be sat up again. At the summer solstice in June, the earth is the furthest from the sun, but the solar ray strikes the earth at nearly right angles to its axis in the northern hemisphere, hence the higher degree of physical activity resulting. 
Then the spiritual radiations from the sun are oblique to this part of the earth and are as weak as the physical rays when they are oblique. At the winter solstice, on the other hand, the earth is nearest the sun. The spiritual rays then fall at right angles to the earth's surface in the northern hemisphere, promoting spirituality while physical activities are held in events. On account of the oblique angle at which the solar rays strike the surface of the earth, on this principle, the physical activities are at the lowest ebb and the spiritual forces reach their highest tide flow on the night between the 24th and 25th of December, which is therefore the most holy night of the year. Midsummer, on the other hand, is the sporting time of the earth goblins and similar entities concerned in the material development of our planet as shown by Shakespeare in his Midsummer Night's Dream. If we swim with the tide at the time when it is the strongest, we shall cover a greater distance with less effort than at other times. It is of great importance to the esoteric student to know and understand the particularly favorable conditions which prevail at Yuletide. Let us follow Paul's exhortation in the 11th chapter of Hebrews and throw aside every hampering weight as do men who are running a race. Let us strike while the iron is hot. Let us specially bend all our energies at this time to spiritual endeavor and we shall reap a harvest such as we cannot obtain at any other time of the year. Let us remember also that self-improvement is not our first consideration. We are disciples of Christ. If we inspire to distinction, let us remember that he said, let him who would be the greatest among you be the servant of all. There is much sorrow and suffering around us. There are many lonely and aching hearts in our circle of acquaintances. Let us seek them out in an unobtrusive manner. At no time of the year will they be more amenable to our fancies than just now. Let us strive to spread sunshine in their path. Thus we shall earn their blessings and the blessings of our elder brothers. The resulting vibrations in turn will cause a spiritual growth not to be attained in any other way. Thank you for watching and please don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and comment.